Hello everybody, hope you're all well. Welcome back to my channel. I'm back today with a haul for you. I've been back to the land where everything is one pound, apart from a few things that are two pound, and the odd naughty item, that's a fiver. I've been back to Poundland, and today's haul is going to be a stationary haul, just in time for back to school. And do stay tuned till the end of this video, because there might be a little something in it for you when we get to the end. So if you're new here, before we get going, don't forget to click subscribe. I'm posting new videos every single week. And if you enjoy this stationery haul, I'd be very happy to do more stationery hauls for you. So do let me know in the comments down below. Give the video a little thumbs up if you'd like to see more. I think a lot of you might be stationery addicts as well. Let me know if you are. They've also got some good new homeware bits in store and I have got a homeware haul coming for you soon. I've got some thrifted bits. I've got some car boot self irons. I've got some stuff from Sainsbury's. I've got all sorts. Um, so that's going to be a separate haul. So I'm going to lump in the Poundland homeware into that one. But I'm going to show you this for the time being because this is a mug that I spied in store that I thought was very nice and I thought you'd... Um, enjoy that. That was one pound and it's got grey, lighter grey, white and the candle that I'm burning is the Aldi Jo Malone dupe and it is the fig and what are you? Cassis and it's a good one. I highly recommend it. I've got the diffuser on my stairs and when I come in I've been thinking it smells good in here. Right, should we get cracking with the stationery? I went outside the other day and I went <sighs> I can smell autumn. You know when it's in the air, there's something slightly cooler about the days. I woke up thinking, am I ill? Did I sleep in the cold? Something autumnal is definitely in the air and it is back to school time. So just in time to give your stationery collection a little boost, a little refresh, and see what good stuff is in store. I also picked these up at the till. They um, are Kit Kats lemon drizzle. It sounds like something that should be on the Bake Off. I feel like there might be a lemon drizzle Kit Kat cake recipe. I think I might have to give Luke a little bell and see if he can come up with something. So I think that would be a really good cake. I might just have one quickly before we get into it. Because you know these Poundland halls take up a lot of energy. But Kit Kat shrunk. I feel like they were a lot bigger. Mmm. It tastes like a lemon French fancy. So here we are. We have a bag full of good stuff. I went for this bag that looks like a football. Well, it doesn't. It's just got a football print on it. First thing I picked up is a couple of files. These are obviously for storing paperwork. So they're the solid um, cardboard design and then you get the elastic on them. And then you can just keep in any loose paper in these. I went for this one which is black and white with this kind of check design on it and I thought it'd be really good just for storing paperwork and I thought it was quite stylish as well. And I also picked up the same size file in this brown paper. Um, so like cardboard, <laughs> I guess, um, effect. Which I think is really nice and simple. Imagine a few of these lined up in an office and you could get the label maker on the go put some little labels down the side in a really simple black and white font and I think these would look really nice. So good value for one pound each. They're called box file. We like to know what the labels say when we do a pound land haul here and these are called box file. Have you ever witnessed a bit of that in pound land? Sometimes there's ag at the tills isn't there and you sort of have to queue up and keep your head down and try not to get involved because someone's pushed in with their basket when the queue's snaking around and then someone's not happy. Well this is a shark pen that likes boxing and this reminds me of a song that some of you might well know. <laughs> They've got some good pens in store, they've got some good branded pens and I noticed they put the posters up where they say one pound in pound land two pounds or four pounds fifty in somewhere like the works or wherever so they have got some good branded items in store and i picked up these pens by zebra that's a good make isn't it and these are Z grip rose gold ballpoint smooth pens they're in black ink and they've got a comfort grip they've also got a 1.0 millimeter point size and a triangular barrel in case you've got hands that like holding triangles 
I saw these things and I had no idea what they are or what they are for. These are called Will Add Charm Charm Buds. And there's one that says, hey, OMG, huh, boom, wham, and cool. And I thought, what are these? What is it? Uncle Carrington? I don't know. I thought, are they things that you put onto your shoes or your bag? Are they pins? And then I spied this pencil case, which has these little holes in it. And this says, what do you say? And this says deck out with Bud's personal, personalized pencil case, sorry. And yeah, I thought it's a good size, this pencil case. You can fit a lot in there. And it's kind of solid yet not solid. So I think the idea is that you can take these charms and arrange them onto there however you want to. And they also had various different packets of these in store as well. So you can sort of mix and match and decorate your pencil case however you want to. So I thought that was a really nice idea and I'm sure it's something that kids would absolutely love. I love it. Another branded item, they had some pens by Bic. These are highlighter pens and they had a nib that intrigued me. These are highlighter flex and they've got a flex tip. It says they will not dry out 24 hours if you leave the lid off. So if you're forgetful and you leave your lid off, that is going to not dry out for 24 hours, just so you know. The nib is like a brush. So you can brush on your highlighting when you're highlighting. I'm not quite sure how that's gonna work, but um, stay tuned to the end of the video and you can find out how you can test these. They do a four pack of small notebooks in different neon colors. So in there you've got neon yellow, orange, pink and green. They're quite a small size. I would say they call these reporter notebooks, this kind of size. I feel like they're the kind of um, notebooks like a policeman would have or a reporter. And you just flip over on the spiral part. You get four in a pack, so these can be really handy. You could keep one in your bag, you could keep one by the phone, you could keep one in the kitchen when you forget things and you need to remember them at the supermarket, and you could keep one in the car. So you can always make a little note for your notes and forget where you put the notebook and then buy more notebooks if you're anything like me. If you're into monochrome design stuff, you might like these. These are sticky notes, it says on the label, and you get some smaller post-its. There's one here that I don't think you could actually write on that one, but it's just one that you can just stick on things, say, get it done. So you can just go around your house and just put them on things that you need to do. So you're like, get it done, get it done, pile of washing, get it done, washing up, get it done, rubbish needs to go out, get it done. You could leave a lot of passive aggressive notes with those, couldn't you? <laughs> you can put them on colleagues' desks as well. Just a paperwork. Get it done. And then you've got to do, and you've got notes, you've got today, and you've got a list one to five. So lots of little options there. They have some lever arch files in store, and I like this one that says work life, life work. And it's in kind of that rose gold coppery design with, I think this is white or pale gray. And um, so that really nice as well. And I thought one of you might like it. So stay tuned to the end of the video. And yeah, that's a pound as well. Everything in this haul is one pound by the way. And then they had this pen, which caught my eye. This is a pen. It says on the label, just pen. It doesn't even say monster pen, but it's monster ink color pen. It's got six colors in there. You've got purple, green, yellow, red, blue, and black, and it's a furry monster. And I'm going to leave him in the packet, I think. Or should we get him out? I think I need to show you better. Let's have a look what he's like when he's out of the pack. Oh, he's very soft. There we are. I feel like he needs a name. So let me know um, what we should call Monster Pen in the comments. And he's a handy monster because he will offer you six different colours when you want to write something down. Who writes in yellow pen? And the last thing that I've got to show you is this very simple pencil case. It's in this kind of leather kind of design and the label says pencil case. And I just thought this was quite stylish. I thought this would actually be quite useful for other things as well as pencils. Maybe you could keep something like a pair of sunglasses in there or yeah, just thought it was quite a nice little bag. They had these in different colors as well, but I just really liked um, this one. I thought it was something that I would actually use myself. 
So that is everything that I've got to show you. That is all the stationery just in time for back to school. If you are heading back to school or if you're watching with one of your children, then I really hope you have a great start to your term in your new year and everything goes really well for you. And if you want to win everything that I've just shown you in this haul, then I am going to be doing a giveaway of all of this stuff and I'm going to make it a worldwide giveaway. So I want to um, offer some things back to all of my viewers right the way around the world, wherever you're watching from, you can win all of this stuff. To win it, all you need to do is drop me a comment and let me know which item was your favorite also give the video a thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed and when you do comment leave me a way that I can get in touch with you so that can be a social media handle or an email address or whatever you feel comfortable with just make sure that I can get in touch with you if you are the winner you can also enter over on my Instagram it's Mr Carrington and I'll put the post over on Mr Carrington home which is my home account that's where you can see anything that I spy in Poundland and I haven't bought but I want to share with you. So I often snap things that I see in store if I spy a good bargain. So it'd be great to see you over there anyway. And you can also enter over there as well if you want to. So good luck if you do enter the giveaway. And I think I'll probably pick a winner in like a week's time. I'll put in the description box all the details as well so you can just read everything there if you want to enter it. Yeah, I really hope you liked everything that I picked out. It's a bit of a mishmash of things, but um, yeah, fingers crossed you like it and good luck if you enter the competition. And hopefully it'll get you in time for either new term or just in time for the autumn because it's just nice to have new stationery in the autumn, isn't it? It feels like the right time of year to have a little refresh. So I really hope you enjoyed this haul. If you did, do give this video a little thumbs up. If you're new here, do click subscribe. I do lots of Poundland hauls from time to time as well as loads of other stuff on here and I would love to see you back very soon. I hope you don't go to bed singing Baby Shark and if you do, I'm very sorry. Um, I will see you very soon. I've got a homeware haul coming for you in the week so um, that's to look forward to. Lots of nice bits to show you and I'll be back with some vlogs and I've got loads of autumn content coming your way which I'm really excited about. I'm going to get back to the other half of my lemon drizzle Kit Kat and finish the rest of my cup of tea and I'll see you very soon. Bye. Sorry about that, I don't quite know what happened then. I am sweating. But stay tuned to the end of the video and you can find out how you can test. Oh. But stay tuned to the. <laughs> Actually lost it.